Enroll students in Learning Center. You have two options when it comes to uploading your students' information. You may enter them individually or in bulk by using our CSV spreadsheet template. We will walk through both options. Let's start by uploading individual students. Under School Setup, select Enroll Students in Learning Center. Click Add and then click Add Single Student. All required fields are marked with a red and white exclamation mark. Now enter the student's information. Start by selecting an appropriate learning center. When creating a username, remember that it will be used by the student daily to log into his account. Keep it simple and easy to remember. For example, if the student's name is John Smith, the username could be J Smith or John Dot Smith. The username can only contain alphanumeric lowercase characters, letters and numbers, underscore, hyphen, period, or et symbol. Please note the username you create is permanent and cannot be changed. Next, fill out students' first and last names. Note that a unique email address is required for each student. This means that the same email address cannot be shared by multiple students. When a new student is enrolled, ePACE sends an automated email which contains the student's username and temporary password. If at any point the student forgets his login details, he can click on the Forgotten Your Username or Password link on the ePACE login page and provide his email address to request a login link to be sent to his email inbox. If the student does not have an email address at enrollment, you can create an alias email address. For more information on this topic, please refer to the resource on creating alias email addresses. Going on to the next field, level refers to the student's current ePACE level or last chronological grade level and should be a number. If a student is assigned mostly level 6 ePACEs, then enter the number 6 here. Students who are new to the ACE curriculum can take the ACE diagnostic test to determine their level and the ePACEs to be assigned. Learn more about the ACE diagnostic test at acediagnostictest.com. Continue by filling in the fields for country, time zone, and birthday. Please note that the time zone defaults to the school's physical location, which was set up in the initial school registration. However, if you are working remotely with a student in another time zone, it is important to put the time zone in which the student is located to ensure accuracy of daily cutoff times for goal completion. Help with finding the correct time zone can be found on multiple internet sites or by using the provided question mark help button. You can also upload a profile picture for your student from the staff's profile account. However, it is not required to enroll a student. Please note, the profile picture might not appear in the system right away. At this point, you may also create parent accounts by entering the information here. If you do so, parents will receive notification of their child's progress. Be sure each parent uses a different email address. Once you have entered all of the information, click Save. Repeat these steps for each student. If you are enrolling more than 20 students, it may be worthwhile to upload in bulk. To do this, click on users.csv to download the CSV file, so you may add students to the template. Do not enter anything in the first row. Start in the second row and follow the layout in the spreadsheet. Enter all the students that you would like to have in one learning center. Please note, the students you enter into this spreadsheet will all be placed in the same learning center. You will need to create a new CSV spreadsheet for each learning center. Please note the following fields on this spreadsheet. If the students are attending at your school's physical location, you can leave the time zone field blank. However, if the student is in another time zone, you will need to enter that information 
in a computer-readable format. For example, for U.S. Central Time, one option is America slash Chicago. As mentioned earlier, help with finding the correct time zone can be found on multiple internet sites. Enter the country information using the standard two-letter abbreviation. For the United States, enter U.S. Help with other country codes can be found on multiple internet sites. Enter the birth date as month, day, year. For example, if the student's birth date is July 20th, 2011, enter the birth date as 7-20-2011. Filling the rest of the blanks is optional. Once you have finished adding your information, save your spreadsheet. Be sure it is saved as a CSV file and then return to your browser and select the Learning Center that your students will attend. Upload your spreadsheet to ePACE by dragging it into the drop zone provided. Alternately, select the Choose a File option. Make sure Upload a File is selected and click on Choose File. Browse to locate your spreadsheet, click Open, and then select Upload this file. You may disregard Save As, Author, and Choose License fields. At this point, be sure to click Save. You may disregard CSV delimiter and encoding fields. The system will notify you if there are any errors. Please correct the errors, resave your spreadsheet, re-upload the document, and click Save again. Repeat these steps to add students to a different learning center.